If any of you ladies out there are struggling to lose weight and you're frustrated because you're in a calorie deficit, but for some reason the fat just isn't going away, this study might give us a little insight as to what we can do to fix that. A lot of us like to do fasted cardio, but fasted exercise may actually interfere with your ability to burn fat compared to exercising in a fed state, which results in greater total energy expenditure and fat oxidation, which might help improve overall body composition. In other words, fasted cardio may not be as effective for women as it is for men. Post-workout nutrient timing is actually very important for women, so you should aim to have 1.2 grams of carbs per kilogram of lean body mass to replenish your glycogen, and somewhere between 0.32 and 0.38 grams of protein per kilogram of lean body mass after your workout to begin repairing your muscle. And that's because women actually have a greater capacity to burn fat and maintain normal glucose levels after exercising than men do, given the same relative intensity. Increasing your workout volume and your exercise frequency may actually have a negative impact on your strength and endurance performance, which basically means more exercise isn't always better. Which is why you can't always just live on a treadmill or a Stairmaster for seven days a week because that physical activity is causing fatigue that your body needs to recover from, which makes fat loss that much harder. It's also recommended that you eat at least 45 calories per kilogram of lean body mass per day to ensure that you have optimal energy availability for basic physiological functions. So you want to make sure you're eating enough calories so you don't disrupt your basic essential bodily functions. You also want to avoid going below 30 calories per kilogram of lean body mass per day because this has been shown to suppress metabolic hormones in as little as five days. So instead of constantly staying in a calorie deficit, you may see better results if you cycle between your maintenance calories and your dieting calories when you're trying to improve your physique and your overall body composition. So to sum up the last two points, 30 and 45 calories per kilogram of lean body mass is the range that you want to be in if you're looking to lose weight, and that's going to be specific to you, your workout demands, and your individual goals. Now I know there's a lot in here, but these are all things that you might want to consider if you're currently in this situation. I'm by no means an expert when it comes to female hormones, which is why I found this study so interesting because I learned a bunch of new things that helped me become a better coach. And I know reading a bunch of scientific literature isn't everyone's favorite thing to do, but for the handful of women out there that do follow me, I really hope this helped give you some useful information as to how you can speed up your fat loss or finally break through that plateau and get that much closer to achieving that physique that you're working towards. Quick shout out to Coach Eugene because he's actually the one that put me onto this study, got me interested. So I'll drop his account as well as the study in the description. Be sure to check him out. And if you have any questions regarding any of the info in this video, drop me a comment. I'll be happy to help. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and follow. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.